In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can import new fonts into Final Cut Pro. Super easy, really simple. I'm gonna walk you through the process. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, helping you master the art of online video production. And I'm just gonna jump straight into this one. This is a quick tip. So you're in Final Cut, you're editing your video, you wanna add some text, but you can't find the font that you're looking for. How do you add a new font to Final Cut Pro? Well, this is actually a really quick, easy, and simple process. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro, and I'm in the process of editing a promotional video for a Californian bodyboard holiday. And I wanna start the video with a California title. Now, as you can see, I've already laid the text on top of this photo, but I've been looking through the fonts that come with Final Cut, and to be honest, there's nothing in here that really suits the vibe that I'm going for. So how do we import a new font into Final Cut Pro? Well, it's actually really easy, but the first thing we need to do is download the font that we want to use. Now, there are two places that you can find free fonts, and they are dafont.com and 1001fonts. Com. I'll link both of those websites in the description of this video. Now, Defont is pretty good, so let's just go to Defont. Now, when you land on the home page, you can see that there are lots and lots of fonts to choose from. There's different categories running across the top here. You've got techno, gothic, basic, but for the purpose of this video, let's just keep this really simple. Now, I'm gonna go to the, uh, the search tool just on the top right-hand corner here, and I'm gonna type in Surfing, see what comes up. Okay, so we've got four options. Instantly, I quite like this top one here, Surfing Capital, so let's go with that. So the first thing we wanna do is download this font. If you look to the right here, we have a download button. Let's just click on that. Caution Windows users, this font is heavy to load and may freeze or crash the Windows font viewer. <sighs> Who cares, I'm not using Windows. Let's download that. So once we've downloaded our font, we want to go to Downloads. And as you can see, just here, we have Surfing Capital, okay? Now, you'll see a few different files within the folder. We can actually just get rid of these two here. The only one that is of interest to us is the TTF file, okay? Okay, so we now have the font that we want, but we need to import it into Final Cut Pro. The way we do that is we go to Applications, and we go to our font book, double click on that, then your font book will open just like this. So now that we're in our font book, we want to go to user along this left-hand side here. See here we have all fonts, computer and user. Click on user, then we wanna click on this plus button. Once we've clicked on the plus button, we want to go to wherever we've downloaded our new font. So I downloaded mine into my downloads. So we're gonna to go to our downloads. Uh, there we can see it straight away, Surfing Capital. Let's open that folder and there's the font we're looking for. Let's click on that and press open. Now you may get some kind of warning pop up here. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. If you do, just click it, it's fine. And what this is now doing is validating that font and it's importing it into my font book. But not only does the font import into your font book, it also imports it into Final Cut Pro. So as predicted, I have had some kind of warning pop up here, uh, but just ignore it. Select all fonts, just put install checked. Yep, install. Click, 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 just click through any kind of warning sign, it's okay. Now what you'll find is if you go straight back to Final Cut Pro, the font won't be there. So really, really important, a crucial part of this process is that you restart Final Cut. So just go to quit Final Cut and reopen. So now we're back in Final Cut. So let's just go to our list of fonts and there we go, Surfing Capital. Let's click on that. And there you have it, much better. We're just gonna increase the size, scale that font up a little bit more, and reposition just like that. And that is how you import a new font into Final Cut Pro. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content just like this, you can subscribe by clicking this icon here. I post a new video each week. And if you'd like to watch another one of those videos now, you can do that by clicking here. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.